And we're back. And Rick, thanks so much for being with us. Originally from Massachusetts, and we're lucky enough that you're here visiting some family so you could join us. I have to tell you, you have me intrigued. <laughs> okay, so I just watched that trailer, and you have me intrigued. Uh, tell us about this latest project, Messiah, a fresh look at the ancient prophecies, because I'm watching that, and I'm saying, geez, I have, to, I have to see that in February of 2019. Oh, thank you so much, Jay and Danielle. It's great to be here. Um, Messiah is a look at the, the Messianic prophecies of the Old Testament, but kind of in a, in a new and a surprising way. Um, we all know a, a few of the prophecies, I think a handful, there are hundreds in the Old Testament, but um, the, the Messiah will be born out of a virgin, born in Bethlehem. But Messiah looks at some of the prophecies that are fulfilled after the ascension, and uh, I think that's where it's a unique take. Beautiful. In the life of the church. Yeah, and previously you worked on Queen of Heaven. Right? I did, yes. Which was a hugely successful project for you. And then what made you decide after that success to take on this particular project? Oh, sure. Well, well, thank you for Queen of Heaven. That was such a, a grace to be a co-writer for that and look at kind of the eternal biography of Mary, you know, because her life didn't end with the assumption. She con she's the mother of the church. She continues to be involved in history. And so after you do that for Our Lady, you, you have to do it for Our Lord, right? Mm -hmm. And look at the ways that he's involved in history you know, continues to this very day, but um, after his ascension in the life of the church. So you you are you have this production, Messiah, and you're going to be filming in some very. We were talking a little bit about this before the program. You're going to be filming in some very exciting locations and and that are, are very important to Christians and Catholics. Tell us about that. Yes, thank you, Jay. We're going to be filming in the Holy Land in Rome. So um, we're going to be filming in October with just such a great team. Leonardo de Filippis, the fantastic actor who was a wow. host of Queen of Heaven, will be joining us. We have great producers, best-selling novelist Bud McFarlane. So we're taking a, a seven-man film crew, but, but hopefully a, a lot more pilgrims uh, to Israel and Italy in October. I'm really curious about this, Rick, you know, how people get involved in things. What made you decide to do both of these because it certainly is something that will inspire people but it has to come from your heart also right yes it, it does and um, I just think we have the greatest stories I mean I, I fell in love with Our Lady in a deep way while writing Queen of Heaven and fell in love with our, our Lord you know e even more just to be able to spend time writing with this and al also with the other biblical figures that we cover David um, St. Paul St. Peter's their feast is today um, but we have such great, great stories. Why should Marvel Comics have all the fun? I mean, we <laughs> 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 it's right there in the Bible, and we got to get the stories out. So that's what I hope we're doing. And you do such a beautiful job. That trailer we saw was just really beautifully and so professionally done. We need more of that in our church. So thank you for that, first of all. But then who do you recommend would see Messiah, and how can they arrange to see it? Yes. Well, Dan Danielle, it's really for everyone. It's, it's a pretty deep study, um, so maybe 12 and up. But I taught uh, seventh grade CCD this year, and this is something that I wanted my pre-confirmation kids to see. I mean, this is kind of a gift that I want to give them because it gets them excited about what confirmation is. It's a participation in the messianic anointing of the church. Really, that's what it is, and I think they'll have a whole new way of seeing this. But it's for adults. It's for everyone. You know, when St. Paul was preaching in the synagogues, I think he attracted a crowd of people who were interested, curious. Um, they weren't all already devout. They just wanted to see this his What's message. What's going on, yeah. right? And I think Messiah has that same appeal, at least I hope it does. It beautifully well, does. I think it's so important, Rick, especially in today's world where we, we learn and educate ourselves more about the faith. I think we know the peripheries, but this will dive in a little bit deeper. Thanks so much for being with us, and, and you're going to come back again. You have to, <laughs> okay? <laughs> because February 19, uh, 2019, right? Yes, is that's the a debut. <laughs> that's when it's going to debut, so we need to talk to you even if it's by Skype. Can so you promise me that? Absolutely. I'll be here. Thank you. Very good. Thanks for being here. Well,